<laughs> I, we, we don't can, have any feed for anything could, to plug uh, in the meantime. I don't know. Yeah, just give me eyebrows. So, what, what do you think the stage choice will be here? What do you think's a good stage for well, Blair players? has been going Cloud uh, while well, Scott stays Luigi. Um, you mean Blair's been going Bayo? Because Blair's Bayo right now. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, I saw his Cloud yeah, come out before. Uh, I think you're right, though. We were seeing the Cloud, but in this matchup, he's gone Bayo. I might imagine to deal with Cloud better. I think Bayo does mm -hmm. well against Cloud. Oh, Lilat. You know what? It actually... I might say this benefits Cloud just a little bit more. Lila, you think? Yeah. Well, th it's true that there are the, the platforms to juggle, but gimping is a such is such a weirder. Uh, there's such a weirder meta to off stage on this stage. Um, you might not see this off. I think it's a little harder to definitively say. I don't know. I think uh, the teams are going to be focusing more on the on stage game uh, since since Cloud and Mark both are, do very well when they're underneath their opponent. Yeah, absolutely. That, that might be the focus. They might just try and stay off stage. Ooh, almost a kill right out the gates, but he misses right. the finishing touch. I assume. Yeah, the, uh, uh, Triplash was banned for the reason why this would be a difficult stage, uh, which is the juggling capability. Right. Couple quick stocks to counter. Where is the bug? Bayo is Grinch really tag, is that what it's saying? I think so. The Grinch, wow. Uh, Christmas colors, maybe? Oh yeah, true. I don't know. That's that's my best bet. Or maybe it's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just an angry day for the same boys, who knows. Oh, Cyclone carrying Plug off the top. And free patch. Oh yeah, dude, remember when Luigi got, it was guaranteed? Yeah, that was a crazy. <laughs> Oof, he misses the last hit. Almost a finishing touch. Luigi light enough to fall out. Odd neutral B coming out. Full air. Everything's happening so quickly. Alright, Luigi jabbing to just get him off. It's like to comment how out of place Luigi looks in this situation. He's <laughs> yeah. got a bunch of normal. Well, not normal. Very anime, normal-sized human beings. And then Luigi with those the big head and head, those feet. This looks silly. Yep. No sword. He's like, I'm Luigi. Who cares? Oh, okay. Is Luigi gonna make that? Of course he is. Ooh! Wow. Good stuff. That was an unfortunate. Just a frame too quick. Yeah, I think so. Release, or too late on the release from Bug. I've seen up smash be like a very safe option uh, yeah, to get up. But you know what though? Luigi's normal get up is very weird. For some reason it's just harder to hit. Yeah, I mean they're all the same window, but the animation is so different that you can't tell when it starts necessarily. <laughs> Ooh, forward air, tipper. Takes him off. Alright, good awareness from Pelka running up, getting Pug out of that situation. Still not a bad situation for the Sid boys. No, they can do it. Uh, if I were them, I'd be thinking about trying to take Cloud stock, obviously. Yeah, you don't want to sit with all that rage. But don't overthink it, too. You know, you got to take it on a Gimp or a straight kill. There we like go. Like that back air. Bugs with an ill-advised counter. Ooh. Got some off-the-top got some off the top shenanigans happening right now, but Pug's going to stay alive. Ooh. It looked Lord like... Lord smash, team kill. No, Blair moved on in there to make sure that Scott could make it back on stage safely. Uh, but he might have moved in a little bit too soon because he took a bit of damage in, the, in between that combo. Clearly trying Ooh. to finish it off. This could be dangerous. Oh, the up air. Cloud sneaks wow. out that up air. That up air comes out so fast. And at that close to the last zone, tricky situation to be in. Follow up. So let's see. Both both these characters have solid kill options. Cloud maybe a little more so, but I can see it going either way right now. Oof. That was kind of a risky Yeah, kind of a cheesy... But he got oh, out of it, he, gets he guts it. it again. Yup, this is how he ran back and uh, did a, almost a pivot F smash, I think. Mm -hmm. Into the oh, Very smart play from Scott. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so the Sin Boys going up a game. They're on a tear today. They're up for blood. They're doing very yeah. well. They've I mean, doing... what seed was uh, were Light and Dawn today? Uh, they, they had to have been like they, one or like, two, I feel like. One, two, yeah. They wouldn't have been any less than one or two today. But these boys have been on a tear. Yeah.
<laughs> Alright. Heading over to Smashville. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, you know I'm looking. You know I'm looking clean. <laughs> you know I'm looking clean with the fresh cut. We out here. Alright. Both teams making good percent gains, but uh, not taking too much of a lead on either side yet. Yeah, there's never been really a pull, like a, a turning point where one team pulls away in any of these matches. It's been really uh, neck and neck the whole time. Uh -huh. We saw a little bit on the la uh, in the last set on the last game, but even then, Never can do that a reach. Helga missing another finishing touch. I'm wondering both times did they yeah. low. I'm wondering also uh, how often they team together uh, because I'm just not seeing quite the same synergy from them that I am. Uh, regardless of individual player levels, but the synergy from the Sin Boys is a lot better, <laughs> given that they played a lot more. <laughs> Yeah, I can't call, you can't penny. call this a lead yet. Ooh, Ooh the Luigi empty. combos. He carries it off into the next one, and then Bayo up the top. Obviously not killing it quite this low percent. Ooh, good pressure on the jabs. Scott got caught in there a little bit, but just held the shield. It was good for him. Ooh. The upper takes it. But gets caught by Pugs up there. Some boy's still in the lead, but not by much. Uh, only that lead doesn't necessarily mean a true lead. Oh, in doubles? One hit can lead to a death, if you really think about it. Particularly when you're playing such top tier characters and jank out characters as Luigi. And the top tier jank, like Bayo. Oh, absolutely. Uh, would that be the best of both worlds or the worst? I'm more inclined to say the second. Eh, depends how you're playing. You're playing to win, like, well, which we are. Of course we're playing to win. I'm trying my best to keep bias off. Uh, if anyone's heard me do commentary in the past, I don't do a very good job of that, but <laughs> I, I will do it for prison day. Do it for the free wieners. <laughs> good up smash there. Ooh, he's going for a cyclone drag down, it looks like. Alright, here's an, uh, something that we got to talk about with doubles, is keeping the ledge safe from your partner when they're coming up. Absolutely. So we saw Scott sitting there just jabbing while Glare was off stage. Uh, definitely a smart move. You don't have to do all this big damage, you don't have to try and take kills, don't go off, you know, Rogue One over here. Just do your thing, keep it safe, let your teammate come back. Definitely. Alright. Glare just kind of taken to the side, worried for his uh, final stock. Almost takes it. Scott is doing a good job of tacking on uh, damage every time he gets a grab. He makes every exchange count as Luigi, which is important when you're playing arguably in Luigi's harder matchups to deal with. Ooh. Too caught Actually up in the Bayo combo, didn't notice. Yep. We've seen, it We've seen it happen before, but Cloud gets out of the Bayo combos early. That up air, he's gonna yep. take him. The funny thing about Cloud's up air is, uh, I don't know if you've seen the frame data for what it looks like, but on the first couple of frames... Ooh. Unfortunate ooh. SD. Wow, yeah, that's... Nope. We don't we hate to see that. But, um, as I was saying about Cloud's up air, he actually kind of crouches down and then throws the sword up. He's, like, down here. He's, like, Kirby size almost. But yeah, it starts extremely low. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, it does such a good job combo breaking. Even from when your enemy is approaching from below, sometimes it just completely yep. beats it out. Well, it makes sense too, because um, when you're trying to SDI Bayo combo, most of the pe most of the time, I think people are DIing like away and down. So if you can get underneath Bayo, yeah, and then you I mean, we saw that on Lilat. Yeah. Uh, Cloud just popped right out, threw out an up air. Um, yeah, it just it, kills, it, and Bayo's as light as hell. So. Oh yeah. All right, sets one one. We're going to FD. It's not starting with an air <laughs> F smash out of nowhere. And we've seen it work. That's the thing, Luigi is just such a weird character to play against. Oh, yeah. He is the best that Jank has to offer. <laughs> I mean, is it really Jank? I feel like a lot of Luigi stuff happens pretty consistently. 
Yeah. I it's guess at that point, what is Jank? There we go. Point. We got... Oh, oh not Pelka finished it finally off. manages to land a finishing touch, but it doesn't even kill. The aerial, if it was grounded, it would have killed, but it was too high in the air. Yep. Goes to the up smash. No tipper. Doesn't get caught by the wish switch, but which takes him. Gets him off. Ooh. Ooh, this is not looking good. That All does right. take him off the top. Pelka gone. Blair does First manage to pull this one off. Not getting caught by that silly up air. <gasps> wow. We've got a double down. What an odd exchange. I only caught the second half of that. But. Yeah, no, uh, basically, uh, every time Luigi would use one of his uh, recovery options, Pug was there and he caught it. And the very last one, Pug caught with a reverse up B and didn't even make it back himself. Yeah. No, he went down there. I think he was dead anyway, so he decided, I'm going to take it with me. Those are things you have to be thinking about, doubles. f -Snatch does take it, even without the tipper. Ooh, good chase down with the back air. Ooh, a little hop from uh Ooh, from that Glenn. Test. Wow. Definitely stop. What is Bayo? <laughs> what is Cloud? Don't use your jump off stage. Mm -hmm. Especially against Bayo, whose off stage presence is certainly something to think yeah, about. Potentially the worst in the game. <laughs> or worst for the recipient. Yeah. If the recipient's Cloud. And it, let's be real, everyone knows how to give Cloud at this point. Oh, yeah. No, the anti-cloud meta is super developed. Uh, the anti-bayonetta meta is, uh, you know, on its way. Not quite as obvious. All right, I like what I saw from Scott there. He's going for a down air on cloud, trying to finish it out. Now, Luigi's spike is actually pretty strong, believe it or not. It doesn't oh, yeah. look it. Definitely. And the follow-ups he has after it, it has very little cooldown. And he could just follow it up with a Cyclone and immediately Gimp. Yep. Rolling out of the way of that. That would have been a lot of shield damage. Yep. It was a good roll. Ooh, Warrior Polka. team killing. Yeah, unfortunately he takes his partner out of this one. This is looking good for the Sin boys. All right. Nice confirm. It looked like Pelka DI down there to avoid getting hit by a team combo. Yeah, That's important. Up, yeah, mixing up DI out of throws and, uh, you know, things you can expect. You can avoid uh, footstools and the like uh, in 2v1 situations when you mix up your DI. That's what I was talking about, the differences between singles and doubles. You know, you have to be aware of... Ooh, oh, my... That was almost... I think Pelka's, Pelka's pummel, I think, actually saved... Uh, yeah. He saved him because it hit Luigi and it got him out of there. Yeah, at least in that moment. But still lost out on that one. All right. So that's another game going to Scott and Glare. Yeah, they're really looking on point. Their synergies looking great. Helco with the character switch, though. Bring out the Diddy Kong. Ooh. Now, I have fought as Diddy before, too. It's um, good. That's good. They're both very comparable in skill level. But, I feel uh, like the Diddy Kong is coming from wanting to have better recovery. Yeah. You know, when you're dealing with Luigi, you don't want to be skimmed so easily. Which, unfortunately, Cloud is susceptible to. And we hadn't seen it too much, but I think he wants more movement options. Yeah. Being able to monkey flip above the stage. Uh, you can also get to your partner when they're in trouble a lot quicker. Which time's that? Punches with a down air. And not a huge punishment. But yeah, big damage, but he's yeah. not dead yet. Ooh, the shield oh, break. Let's shield. see if he can... Oh, my. There we go. Yeah, okay. He does get it off. All right, yeah. Ooh, a hesitation there from uh, Glare for a minute. He's got the grab. He's like, where do I put this on? He's just making sure... Who's child <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Make sure his partner got it. Oh, doing a good job juggling both at the same time. Bug going for an outlandish banana to up smash combo. But doesn't dash in quite fast enough. Stocks are dropping like flies. Yeah, I mean. Luigi down two, Diddy down one. Wow, the double afterburner kick from Blair really chased them. 
Yeah, an angled F side, we put on a lot of damage. I'm seeing this Luigi jab come out a lot. It's doing a lot more work than you realize. Maybe not such damage wise, but it's getting them off them, which is super important. Oh, yeah. It's super quick. Uh, not too punishable. Uh, so it's really safe, especially when he's trying to keep people away from the ledge. He's keeping hitboxes active so they can't just approach mindlessly. Exactly. And try and get the partner or something. Ooh. Good space in. The tipper takes it. Now, what was interesting there, uh, Pelka threw Luigi off stage, but instead of trying to edgeguard him, they focused their efforts on Blair's Bayo right now. So we do have, you know, a decent lead from the green team right now. Up a stock of Luigi at high percent. Well, I don't think that was a tipper fair, so we just gotta make it back. Red team pushed to the ledge. Forcing their way out. Ooh. Oh, the down arrow. Not quite taking it. Wow, I'm surprised. We... That was great DI from Pelka. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's an unfortunate thing you see sometimes. Uh, when the Bayo accidentally catches their partner in an up B, they've gotta just drop it. Yeah. You know, you need, your partner needs a lot of awareness. If you're Bayonetta, you need your partner to be aware, to stay away from your hitboxes. Yep. They were looking for a follow-up there, but didn't get it. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to go for a witch time there, but... Ooh, even tipper up there takes it. Yep, very nice. Now, even if he got that witch time, I'm not sure if he would have had the opportunity to deal with it properly, because with both of the uh, green team being there, it would have been hard for him to get any sort of actual follow-up. Yeah, I think it would have been more about taking one of them out of the running, momentarily not having a 2v1. Um, and if he were to knock, you know, say he, he gets a back arrow off and knocks uh, one of them away, he could just punish the witch time one. All right. Definitely an advantage to it. It's oh, yeah, never no. not a good thing to witch time, except, <laughs> like, if it connects, it's to never connect not to a witch good time thing. is always good for the Bayonetta. That you're right about. <laughs> I've seen Dreamland come out a lot. Ooh, good option coverage there from Scott. Uh, he, uh... He knocked Diddy back, and Diddy was down, missed the tech on the ground. He threw out a fireball in case he wanted to stand and get up, and then saw it roll back and got a grab up. I think Dreamland, uh, Triplets must have been uh, banned before this just because of the, the advantage of having du a double disjoint team would have had. Um, but now that Diddy's in the mix, I think they're a little more comfortable going toe to toe on these stages yep. without fear of juggling. Would you just charge in the side be there, just sitting with it? Yeah. Like, hmm, no, I'm good. Misinput, who knows? Oh, maybe, actually. I don't know, actually, I think we might be seeing a little bit of a... Ooh, the upper seals, seals it. A little bit of a switch in play style from Scott right now. You've seen, I've just, so I saw him charge a side B all the way. I just saw him charge an up smash all the way. It looks like we're going for more decisive moves. And Another incredibly a charge smash on the attack. I think we're seeing a little bit of a play style change. He's trying to go for more powerful attacks right now. Get on as much damage as possible. Interesting up B from Mark right there. Evaporated. It takes a lot too, to know exactly where the space hand moves is. You're not hitting your partner, you're getting that one target. You see one person at high percentage, you take that out. Ooh, side B doesn't take it, doesn't tip. Or the uh, up B at ledge, but he will seal the stock there. Yep, Mark's not going to need a tipper when Bayo's at 185. Harsh neutral. Uh, he's trying to read the neutral get up and the roll, or cover both of those options. But. I'd say overall we're seeing a little less patient play from everybody. Seems like everybody wants to just take these stocks as quick as possible. Uh, the, the Sin Boys are they're known to be relatively emotional players, so I'm wondering whether it's you know a deliberate style change or 
you know, letting uh, the emotions oh, come into play. You think it's getting the best of them, perhaps? That could be it. For their sake, I hope not. You know, you don't want to see anybody get too worked up over it. Yeah. I mean, it is a game five situation. It is high pressure, so anybody could, you know, start feeling that. But I've got to hand it to both of these teams right now. Uh, the stocks are even. Percents are not out of out of range for anybody. Yeah, everyone's only lost one stock, despite the fact that three minutes have passed. Still waiting on the next. No, even still then. Still sitting at two stocks. <laughs> the tipper Everybody. forward tilt is not going to take out, but the back air will. <gasps> no, it. Wow. It didn't even. <laughs> oh. I I spoke too soon. <laughs> I really thought he was dead. It looked like he was. The only one down a stock right now is Elka, but you know, being a low percent may be a good thing for him. Ooh. But now both the green teams down. Okay. Although that was, uh, <laughs> that was I mean, a low percent grab from Luigi is a, a good enough punish. Yeah, you know? actually, I think that was good. You know, Bayo. Oh, oh, Scott. No. Oh. Unfortunate SD. He's still up stocks, but just yeah, that's, barely. It's the Bayo life. Unfortunately, what we see a lot is the Bayo is overextended and they lose their resources off stage. The resources being the up and the side Bs. And then if you're not keeping track of all that, you might get yourself caught. That's what you might call a flying too close to the sun. You give too many tools to one character. <laughs> Uh, you're bound to see more over extensions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just love hearing Bayos go for the back airs over now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost a frame trap. <laughs> uh, frame, like, just keep whipping them out. Stocks are looking even again, though. Oh, oh. Up smash doesn't take it just not, yet. Not quite. Luigi's the only one without any kind of rage yet. Well, a little bit of rage. It starts at 35, I want to say. But anyway. I've heard so many different things about when rage starts. 35 for something. Point is, he's not sitting at a high percent yet, so it's going to take a little bit more for any of Luigi's kill moves to kill. Oop, the back air does seal but it as out. But I, as I say it. <laughs> Ooh, the up smash. 1v1 situation. Yep. See. Ooh, what an, what an <laughs> odd interaction, my god. What, did you throw that banana straight up and just land it on Ooh, the down smash, not it's yet. Not gonna do it. That was the, for, the front facing hit. The back facing hit might have killed, but... Mm. Ooh, Scott was running in for the grab. Really feeling confident. All right. Pelka just going for the, for the grabs. It looks we might be seeing a little bit of patient play from Pelka. At yeah, least I would he's think definitely he would. got it. Uh, he's understanding what he needs to do in the situation one more. But. but a good back air from Scott's going to take it out. Ooh, finishing Sin boys three, on there. Finishing three two. Sin boys take this set. Good job all right. to all of our Goodness. players right now. These are some incredible sets right now. Well, we've got you here. Uh, make oh, yeah. sure you're tuning in on our stream.